A leaked video from Tesla's Austin facility shows testing of aluminum ion battery cells, claiming 5-minute charging and 7,000 watts per kilogram. While unconfirmed by Tesla, industry analysts are calling this potential breakthrough game-changing. What makes aluminum different from lithium, and could this reshape EV technology? Let's dive right in. The leaked footage from Tesla's Austin facility shows engineers testing something that could make every lithium battery obsolete. While the entire industry spent billions perfecting lithium-ion technology, Tesla quietly cracked a problem that stumped scientists for decades. How to make aluminum batteries actually work. Here's the breakthrough that changes everything. Traditional aluminum batteries suffered from ion lock. They could store massive energy, but couldn't release it fast enough for real-world use. Imagine having a fire hydrant's worth of water pressure trapped behind a drinking straw. Tesla's solution? A carbon graphene framework with atomic scale induction points that doesn't just allow aluminum ions to move, it propels them like bullets through a rifle barrel. The numbers sound impossible until you understand the physics. Where lithium ion delivers roughly 1,400 watts per kilogram, these aluminum cells allegedly hit 7,000 watts per kilogram. And here's what few people realize. While lithium cells begin failing above 40 degrees Celsius, aluminum thrives at 85 degrees Celsius, actually performing better under heat stress. But the real genius lies in what Tesla calls quantum burst control. Instead of steady power trickling from traditional batteries, QBC fires energy in precise ultra-fast bursts. The result? Zero lag between pressing the accelerator and feeling torque slam you into the seat. Every time. No fade, no hesitation, no thermal limits. The charging implications shatter every assumption about EVS current supercharging requires 30-plus minutes for 80% capacity on the fastest lithium systems. The leaked tests show 5-minute charging using standard infrastructure, with battery packs barely warming during the process. We'll come back to why this single factor could trigger mass EV adoption overnight. And here's the detail most people overlook. These batteries don't just maintain capacity over time, they actually improve. Each charge-discharge cycle restructures the internal lattice, similar to how bones strengthen under stress. After 500,000 cycles, equivalent to over a century of daily use, performance remains at 100%. But this is just the beginning. What's really surprising is how Tesla kept this development completely hidden while their competitors poured billions into obsolete technology. While GM invested $2.8 billion in lithium plants and Ford committed $11 billion to traditional battery infrastructure, Tesla was quietly building something entirely different in Austin. This wasn't just R&D, it was industrial espionage in reverse letting competitors invest heavily in soon-to-be obsolete technology. The timing reveals Tesla's strategic brilliance. Current lithium supply chains face mounting pressure from geopolitical tensions and mining bottlenecks. China controls 60% of global lithium processing, creating vulnerabilities for every Western automaker. Meanwhile, aluminum is Earth's third most abundant element, available everywhere controlled by no one. But there's a remarkable discovery buried in the leaked manufacturing details. Tesla's dry electrode process for aluminum cells eliminates the water-intensive coating systems used in lithium plants, cutting production time in half while saving billions of gallons annually. This isn't just about better chemistry. It's about fundamentally cheaper, faster manufacturing that competitors can't match with existing infrastructure. And here's what's truly noteworthy about Tesla's micro-manufactory swarm strategy. 
Instead of building massive centralized plants like traditional automakers, they're planning dozens of smaller facilities worldwide. Each produces a million battery packs annually, but collectively, they bypass lithium's fragile supply chains while achieving unprecedented scale. The competitive implications are devastating. Legacy automakers face an impossible choice. Write off hundreds of billions in lithium investments to chase aluminum technology they don't understand, or watch their market share evaporate as Tesla delivers $16,000 EVs with 550-mile range and 5-minute charging. Industry analysts are watching three key indicators that will signal this technology's legitimacy. Tesla's patent filings around aluminum ion chemistry, unusual capital expenditure allocation toward new manufacturing equipment, and partnerships with aluminum suppliers that make no sense for traditional batteries. As we'll see in the next section, the first validation won't come from Tesla's announcements. It'll come from their competitors' panic responses. The automotive industry is just the beginning. If Tesla's aluminum ion technology proves scalable, we're looking at the collapse of multiple industries built around energy scarcity rather than abundance. Grid-scale energy storage currently relies on massive lithium installations that take hours to charge and degrade steadily over time. Imagine solar and wind farms with storage systems that charge in minutes, last decades without capacity loss, and cost a fraction of current solutions. The entire renewable energy equation changes when storage becomes virtually free and infinitely reliable. But here's why this scenario terrifies traditional energy companies. Tesla's alleged $16,000 price point for a 550-mile range vehicle doesn't just undercut gasoline cars, it obliterates their economic advantages entirely. No fuel costs, minimal maintenance, performance that makes sports cars look sluggish, and charging faster than filling a gas tank. The geopolitical implications cascade rapidly. Oil-dependent economies face existential threats when energy independence becomes achievable through abundant aluminum and renewable generation. Meanwhile, nations that invested heavily in lithium mining infrastructure, including allies like Australia and Chile, confront potential economic disruption. Yet, there's a challenge most experts are overlooking. Manufacturing aluminum ion batteries at Tesla's claimed scale requires completely new supply chains, specialized equipment, and workforce training that doesn't currently exist. Even if the technology is perfect, production bottlenecks could delay mass adoption by years. And here's what makes this moment historically significant. We might be witnessing energy's iPhone moment. Just as smartphones didn't gradually improve phones, but completely redefined communication, aluminum ion batteries might not just enhance EVS, but fundamentally transform how civilization stores and uses energy. The signs are already emerging. Unusual aluminum futures trading, mysterious Tesla equipment orders, and competitor patent filings suggest major players know something is coming. The question isn't whether this will reshape everything. It's whether traditional industries can adapt fast enough to survive the transition. Because once this technology reaches mass production, there's no going back to the lithium age. This is exactly why Tesla's aluminum breakthrough could be the most significant energy development since electricity itself. Remember that opening question about what metal could make lithium obsolete? The answer isn't just aluminum. It's abundant aluminum that gets stronger with every use, charges in minutes, and costs almost nothing to produce. What this means is we're not just looking at better cars. We're witnessing the foundation for true space colonization. Mars missions need energy systems that work flawlessly for decades without replacement. Lunar bases require power storage that survives extreme temperatures and cosmic radiation. Tesla's aluminum ion technology, if it scales, solves problems NASA hasn't even figured out how to approach yet. And this is just the beginning. 
Industry sources suggest three major automakers are already scrambling to develop aluminum ion alternatives. Meanwhile, SpaceX has mysteriously increased their energy storage contracts for Starship development. The timeline. Expect the first commercial aluminum ion vehicles by 2026, with space applications following shortly after. How do you think this technology will reshape not just transportation, but humanity's expansion beyond Earth? Will traditional automakers adapt fast enough? Or are we about to see the biggest industrial disruption in history? This is Tech Revolution, and we dive deep into the breakthroughs that actually matter for our future. If you want more analysis that connects today's innovations to tomorrow's possibilities, you know what to do. Because the energy revolution isn't coming, it's already here, and it's just getting started.